It's True Man here, and I know you guys have watched a bunch of my 4090 videos. So, this is a cable install guide. So, if this doesn't help you, just skip it. But if it does, stay tuned. And thank you guys for watching. And please hit that sub button, it really helps. I'm trying to get up to 2,000 subs as soon as I can, and I really appreciate it, guys. So, right now, I have an 850 watt in here with a Corsair uh, cable. If you want to see the install on this video, take a look in the comment or in the links down below. I am going to be replacing this power supply with a 1200 watt Thor to get myself ready for the next gen Ryzen's. And it did not come with any cables, so I decided to pick up Cable Mods 4090 cable. It's got three of the uh, eight pins into the uh, 12 volt adapter. And uh, I've never done an install video on this, so I figured I would. So let's get to it. Uh, Simply for a power, you have to make sure your your um, your cables are compatible. Uh, I'll show you in the Amazon link that I have that it says specifically compatible with ASUS. And I tested out these cables on other equipment before I um, got ready to test it for the 4090. So basically, you what you do is you take these cables and you install them in the CPU VGA PCIe slot. So you want to make sure that all three are plugged in to here and you just want to make sure that you hear a click sound on them. Uh, I'm not going to put them all in real quick just because um, I'm about to install it in this computer. So I just want to show you. So uh, you want to put them all in and since this is a 1200 watt power supply and the cool thing is it shows how much power your system is actually taking which is really helpful. Um, you'll be able to plug this in to this and if you wanted to you could theoretically overclock it and use up to 600 watts uh, this is the first time i will have installed one of my 4090s on a power supply greater than 850 so theoretically i could overclock it if i wanted to all right i will be right back with this thing installed one tip about uninstalling this cable make sure you 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 gently wiggle it. you don't like force it out so you don't mess up the connectors at all just in case you have a you know a different cable plugged in and you're just uh, putting in another cable like I am. This is actually the third or fourth cable that will be on this GPU. I've had this since launch day. And I've used the regular adapter, the 3 and the 4, the Corsair adapter, which is this one, and now the cable mod one, which hopefully will be the final one. So I'll be right back when I'm about to install it. All right, Crute Man here, getting ready to install this cable now. All right. Now for everybody who's watching, this is the cable mod cable. Again, uh, it is plugged in properly. Uh, there's three, like I showed you already earlier in the video, there's three eight pins. All right, so when you plug it in, you wanna make sure you hear the click. Now listen. It's gonna take a minute to line up. Okay, now it's lined up, now ready. Do you hear that click? Now I'm going to pull on it a tiny bit. Okay, everything looks secure and solid. All right, and I'm going to just put this back in. I'm doing this all one-handed, so forgive me. And here it is, the 4090 cable mod installed. Um, you know, you can buy them that work with all sorts of PSUs. Again, mine's on an ASUS 1200 watt Thor right here that uh, has a power meter, which is why I have it. So I just got this installed. If you have any questions, please post in the comments down below. I hope this helps. Um, as far as I am aware, this will work with the, anyone that has the, um, the uh, high powered cable, I'm sorry, the high powered adapter. So 4080, 4090, uh, 4070Ti, and maybe some 4070s as well. I know they're 50-50 on those. Alright guys, thank you again for watching. I hope this helped. Please like and subscribe. Group Man, out.